All right. Okay, in. Why are we not focusing? In time now. We're focused now. Yes, we are headed to the ranch in six hours. It's 10, 15 right now. We are going to pick up Marcellus tomorrow at 4.30 in the morning at his place. Quite freaking early. Yeah, I wanted to hop on here tonight. I think my energy is gonna be a little higher right now than it will be in six hours at four in the morning when my alarm goes off. I will see y'all in six hours. Um, I'll be honest, I woke up so confused. You know when your alarm goes off and you're like, what is going on? Four o'clock in the morning, this lovely Saturday. Time to go get Marcellus's big ass. It's 4.38. I told Marcellus I was gonna pick him up at 4.30. I texted him, I haven't gotten a response. Uh-oh. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. I don't really know what to do right now. There's no, I don't think he's gonna wake up for another two hours, maybe three. I'm gonna wait another like 15 minutes, then I'm gonna go back to my place, maybe fall asleep for a little bit, but we will, uh, we will catch up then, <laughs> see where we're at. I got nothing. It's 4.51 in the morning, no text from ourselves. I'm gonna go back to my apartment, go, go take a nap. We'll rendezvous in a, in a few hours, I guess. We have an update on the situation. It is 5.23, Marcellus just called me. Slept past an alarm or something, so we're gonna go get him. Dude, <laughs> my bad, I'm so sorry. Oh God, is this running? Yeah, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> Edit that part out, the first part where I cursed, I'm sorry. I had a time, I had a clock, two alarm clocks set, and I don't know, man. <laughs> I didn't go to sleep until like 3.13, 3.15. Just have to, have to stop here every time. Big man, oh, oh there's a ghost you ranch dog. On the you ranch dog. So Marcellus is about to get the grand tour of uh, the back 400. Most as far as you can see, billboard sign says rodeo, June 11 through 13. So we are currently uh, cutting a path so this big old side-by-side -side can make its way up this uh, mountain or large hill if you will on the property and currently it's myself Marcellus and Ryan actually doing any work and then you got a uh, Queen Alex just oh my gosh this is like Yellowstone <laughs> take me to the train station rip <laughs> Marcellus's first day as a ranch hand I'm loving it man it reminds me of home Chasing this old six train All oh, but I sure love to be Where cowboys are king I know Alex has some kind of goal for the top of this hill. Not exactly sure. Ryan, do you know what he wants to do on the top of this hill? So he wants to take his girls up there. Maybe put a tent, something up there. You can see out over the whole everything. So it's basically like the opening scene of Lion King where Mufasa lifts up Simba and he's like, one day. This could all be yours. Don't go to the elephant graveyard. That's what we're trying to get to that level where we can see the elephant graveyard. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Uh, we just spent the last two hours clearing a path to the top of the hill, as I said before. Very sweaty. If it was a percentage, Alex, what percent are we? 94. Yeah, it started out flat and fun, and it got steep and hard. Look at this. Look at all this space for activities. On a night like this turns into a good... We got a special guest. Special guest here. We got, we got a new ranch hand. New ranch hand here. The cutest ranch hand of all time. The cutest ranch hand of all time. He's a ranch dog, you're born for this. He really likes this corner. Obviously, dog's new space. Gotta decompress. I learned that from my uh, sister-in-law. Catch a good boy. Same spot. 
spot. Same spot. That's dead son. Marcellus is getting the full rifle blessing from the former Army Ranger, also known as Alex. Shooter ready. Whole right edge. Oh, happens to lots of guys. Dead man's gun right there. Y'all just leave me out, out to dry. <laughs> So I, I don't know if it's like my eyelashes or my eyelid or what it is, Why but do you I just feel like your eyelashes, man. Like you I proud keep, of them things. Or I right? am. I was I was hoping y'all would time notice. I've heard you reference your eyelashes. Was... Send it. Oh, oh, oh man, he's still moving. He's reaching for his cell phone. Get him. He's going. Smoke him. Oh, oh God, I'm coach. <laughs> It is shotgun time. Clay, clay time, sporting clay time, whatever you want to say. It is sporting clay time, whatever that means. This right here is a clay thrower, skeet thrower, and it will throw clays over yonder and we will shoot them. That is all the breakdown I have. Alex and I are apparently about to go head to head in something. Alex yeah. is going to explain the rules. Uh, rules are we're gonna shoot, uh, there's gonna be 10 clays total. We get, we each get five shots at a, uh, we each get five first round shots. Okay. So Connor's up first, Clay's gonna throw. He has opportunity before I do to shoot that clay. If he hits it, he gets a point. If he misses it, I can then shoot it and steal his point. So, and then the next one will be my turn to shoot first. If I shoot it, hit it, it's another point for me. Vice if I shoot it and miss it, you can follow up and clean it and take that point. Addendum. You both miss it, it's free game for either person. Okay, I like that. You know when you hit it, Great. Oh shit, my bad. Woo! One one. Woo! He's on fire! Ah. Two two. Woo! Botch is on fire right Jeez. now. You ready? Got your point, bitch. Got your point. That's what you get for getting cocky. Yeah. I know. I know. Four three. Stay yeah. humble. Four three. Oh, oh he tied it up. Heck? Alex gave it back to him. <laughs> Tiebreaker. Fastest Hold gets up. it. Whoever gets on it first. It's got to be a clear winner. Got to be a clear winner. Oh, headed on safe! <laughs> Boom, <shit>. baby! <laughs> Let's go, Connor. Damn, Damn it! <laughs> the young buck! Wait, did, were you actually on safe? I was on safe. Oh. I took, we'll go again. I don't like still that. still had it. Let's Fuck. do one more. Okay. Because then I'll know if you beat me or not. Hey, new rule. You both got to be facing me. You when it goes, when around it... until you hear it fling. Got it. Oh. Alex takes it with the second. <laughs> Suck. Do we need another one? Too? No, it's fine. Right. That'll be tiebreaker. Felt real good about myself for half a second. I will say, I'm very proud of that shooting. It was good, man. You Thank shot you. Great. Thank you. Marcellus versus myself. Mano e mano. Marcellus is up one nothing. Correct. Oh, he he's goes. on it. Oh, Marcellus. Marcellus oh my god. With the clean. Ass whooping at this point. Just well, that's not making the vlog. I'll let you know that. <laughs> <laughs> this one needs to make the vlog. Formal, formal ass whooping. You know, there's always a moment in the series when the opposing team or the visiting team knows that they've got their number and uh, or the lower seed. And I was the lower seed in that section, and I uh, I had Foch's number. So. Whatever. I don't even care. I don't care. I do care a little bit. I'm very competitive. I don't like losing. That was a bad showing. That was a bad showing. I, there's no ands for buts. I got my ass kicked. Truck's packed up. We are ready to get out of here. You see this? A little bird's nest. Have a good weekend, Toro. This is a good boy. Back to D-Town, back to Dallas. Overall, the successful, the heck, it's only been 24 hours, yeah. but um, it feels like it's been three days, to be honest with you. That's how time works at the ranch. That is how time works at the ranch. All right, back to Dallas. It is Tuesday, two days removed from getting back from the ranch, and today we need to do a BCS qualifier workout. 
Um, if you remember last year, if you've been watching for a little bit, I did the BCS Classic down in College Station with Ashley. I'm doing it with Ashley again. For the team, you have to do qualifier workouts to obviously qualify for the event and then you get your placing, so on and so forth. Pretty straightforward. All of the workouts are due by the 16th. Tomorrow, we are leaving for Nashville. Gonna meet up with Colleen there for a fun little trip. Uh, probably gonna stop by the Proven Gym, which will be an absolute blast. I think it's like brand new, maybe a couple of months old. And the reason I mentioned that, for two reasons. One, it's gonna be an absolute blast. And then two, I'll have to do three of the four BCS qualifier workouts in Nashville, which will be a good time because Colleen can coach me through them, judge me, whatever she wants. But anyways, gotta go do one of the qualifier workouts. The workout we'll do today is for time, 500 meter row, 50 burpees over the rower, and then another 500 meter row. I don't really know what my goal is. Actually, take that back. Okay. Ashley did this workout. She did it in 654. So I guess that's my goal. Might as well try to beat Ash. Let's get this vlog done, this workout done. I was gonna do it with Marcellus, but he had to back out. He's got some work stuff. So I will be all, all alone in my thoughts, rowing a thousand meters total and doing 50 burpees by myself. Hmm. It is what it is. We'll get it done. Goal, 6.30. Stretch goal, 6.10. I feel like the time can really accumulate on the burpees if you're just dragging ass. So gonna be a little more tame on the first row. Probably row right around, right around 150, let's say for the first row. And then diligent on the burpees, just don't stop. And then all I got on the 500 coming home. Sub 6.30, stretch, 6.10. BCS workout number four. This is Connor Foch, 500 meter row. 50 burpees over the rower, 500 meter row. Yes, I'll down here from here. Climb a wheel, I keep on rolling. I just go from town to town. Once that gravel gets to throwing, good luck slowing me down. Well, I've been high and I've been lonely. I've been lost and I've been found. Honestly, I'm happy with it. 641. Didn't reach my goal. Definitely didn't reach my stretch goal. I feel like I stayed diligent on the burpees. Finished the row well. The burpees took over three minutes. All right, one workout done. I'm a wee 